I'm Samisha with Toolbox Divas, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make the perfect serving tray. All right, let's get dirty. So first we're gonna cut down the one by two, one by three down to size to fit the one by 12 board that we have. We're gonna cut them at an angle so that they fit together like so. So that the two pieces, in essence, marry one another. Yes, in essence, it marries one another. <laughs> They're both cut at a 45 degree angle. Before I forget, put your glasses on. These are very important, very important. And some arrestator. A respirator, a respirator. Yes, a respirator. <laughs> a respirator. Okay, so we're gonna start putting this together now. The thing I want to tell you about doing angles. I know some people are a little intimidated when it comes down to doing angles, but the thing about it is, you only get better if you do it more. So don't beat yourself up if you don't get it right the first time or you don't get it right the 10th time. Because honestly, it's just like that. You gotta keep doing this stuff. And you gotta take yourself, it's like when you're, uh, when you're doing anything. You gotta take yourself out of that comfort zone in order to get better and in other areas and, and to grow. But we are working with straight 45 degree angles. So it's fairly, uh, it's probably one of the easiest angles that you could work with. Um, okay, so let's. with that being said, let's put this together. Problem with the right angles, you can totally put together the angles first using a right angle clamp like this, like so and you could bring the angles together. Okay, so now that I have everything uh, glued and nailed together, I'm gonna drill the holes for the handle. You wanna apply wood filler to any holes or gaps uh, created from when you use the nail gun and allow this to dry and then we go back over again with uh, some sanding paper. You don't have to actually use a sander, you can use like a sanding sponge um, that you can find at your local hardware store if you don't have a sander. I'm going to blend two different colors. I'm gonna blend the provincial and the summer oak because I wanna uh, Bring out the, the wood tones, the natural wood tones in the wood. Now for the fun part where we add the handles and make it pretty. Okay, so I hope you liked today's tutorial. Don't forget to hit subscribe and thumbs up for this video. And join us again next week for another Diva Sode. Okay guys, till next time.
I would love some <clears throat> tea. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Well, thank you, darling. Thank you. <laughs>